Redcon 1 War Games Nootropic slash Gaming Mix Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this supplement called War Games by the brand of Redcon 1. This is a pretty much a nootropic blend. You could use it for gaming. I'm sure it is good for gaming. It's got like basically a lot of nootropics, but then I think some stuff for eye health in there too. But this is basically just kind of like a nootropic blend. And this actually features really, really good amounts, in my opinion, of not only nootropics, but caffeine, dynamine, and teocrine. Now, one of the best entry level new stimulants besides caffeine in my opinion is teocrine the only issue that i have with teocrine is that it tastes terrible but it's just such an amazing stimulant it has much less jitters than caffeine it has much less anxiety than caffeine and there really isn't that much of a crash there's almost no crash at all with teocrine and then on top of that teocrine has been shown to be an anti-inflammatory which basically heals you if your body's swelling and caffeine does not do that so i would say this is a nootropic kind of focused a little bit around teocrine dynamine and caffeine because they all work together if you do not know about them dynamine is the shortest acting caffeine is in the middle and teocrine lasts the longest usually teocrine takes about two hours to hit its peak but it's just so smooth and it's kind of going to deliver you um, a less of a crash because of the just the way teocrine works it's just got like a smooth long lasting energy so i would say basically this is a nootropic blend centered around dynamine caffeine and teocrine so I'm gonna do the pros and cons real quick, but I'm gonna go over some of the ingredients. So, in acetyl L tyrosine, they have a huge dose of it in here. This is one of my favorite go to nootropics. Um, normal tyrosine is a little bit more smooth, it just it gives you this awakening feel just in a, in a good way. It's supposed to naturally convert to dopamine. And they have the N acetyl version in here, which is even stronger, and they have a high dose of 500 milligrams. They have 400 milligrams of choline bitartrate. When I think of, you know, entry level nootropics, some of the ones that I go to are you know choline and tyrosine so they have a high dose of both of those in here choline kind of just in my opinion gives me a little bit of this zend out kind of focus a little bit of this focus with less anxiety which is just great so obviously i like it in almost all of my blends so we got yerba mate and to be honest i thought yerba mate was a stimulant on its own i guess it has 25 percent caffeine so um, I think the total caffeine amount in here is only like 78 milligrams. If I'm wrong, I will put that on screen. But it's very, very low dose. So there's multiple doses of caffeine. Even though there's multiple doses, it is a small dose. It's less than 100 milligrams, which is very, very light. One of these servings is from Yerba Mate. And then we've got um, Dynamine at 150 milligrams, but apparently it only has 60 milligrams of active Dynamine. Teocrine at 125 milligrams, only 50 milligrams active of teocrine again these are really solid doses and in my opinion if you just have way too much of any of these you're going to feel anxious because they all provide a little bit of a stimulatory effect but they use just the right dose to where it's not pointless it's not like 25 30 40 milligrams but it is also safe so if you have a lot of this it's you're not going to feel overly stimmed because all of these are stimulants and although they work really well with each other if you take a bunch of high doses of all three it's just going to be problems Gruana seed, and that's another one apparently that has caffeine in it. I always thought guarana was a stimulant on its own, but I guess it does carry some caffeine. Theobromine, now theobromine is just kind of like uh, an extra kind of stimulant. And anytime that it's been in the mix, I felt a little bit more of a zap. I've just enjoyed it. Bacopa extract, now I haven't really done too much research on it. I have taken supplements that have this bacopa before. It's basically just supposed to boost brain performance when I have researched it. This marigold extract, I'm pretty sure is just for your eye health. So it makes sense because you're staring at a screen. This is a gaming mix, totally makes sense. Um, then the hyperzine A, the last thing in here, hyperzine A, basically stops and from my understanding it stops your body from getting rid of choline and like we were just saying before choline bit tartrate choline kind of has this zend out feel so the hyperzine a will basically stop your body from getting rid of the choline so fast so the choline will stay in your body for longer so it kind of goes well with the choline at bit tartrate so the pros of this is it has a very very good ingredient profile i mean several of these ingredients just on their own like if you were to cut this in half it would still be pretty effective like the high dose of inacetyl 
well, tyrosine would be noticeable, it's on its own. Same with um, if you were to just have the teocrine, caffeine, and dynamine on its own, and it also has like high doses of B vitamins. It's just a very, very well put together nootropic blend in my opinion. I actually consider supplements that carry um, teocrine, dynamine, and caffeine to be somewhat exotic. They're not the most exotic things I've ever tried, but it just has a very, very nice feel that if you were to give it to somebody else who's not tried it, it will have a unique feel. And most of the time, people are just using caffeine as the stimulant, so it will provide an actually unique feel and it is a little bit exotic. And then also I really like the presentation of this one. Uh, it just looks really, really good. It's really, really flashy. I actually got this for somewhat cheap online. I think there was several other flavors. This was ended up being the cheapest flavor. So I will get into the flavor in the mix and the cons, but this flavor actually isn't that bad. People said like this, it was actually rated really low on Amazon. And I think that's why it was so cheap. I wanna say I got this for about 25 bucks, which is pretty good for 30 servings and to see that everything is actually really high dose and that it has like all this presentation, I do think it's it's really worth it. Some people had some issues with the taste. That's kind of like the main thing when you see it on Amazon. But to me, if you're somebody who can get past the taste, I do think this has quite a, a unique nootropic benefit because it's just a very, very, very well put together, well thought out nootropic and I really, really do like it. And the last pro I have with this one is that it has no artificial colors, which I absolutely like. For me, um, almost all artificial colors give me some issues. If I were to have maybe uh, half a serving of something with artificial colors, I'll be fine. But if I'm taking a bunch of full servings, like this is 30 servings, if I was gonna take big glasses of it every day, I'm gonna have a lot of issues. And even if you're somebody who doesn't get affected by artificial colors, it's just extra stuff put into the mix that you don't need that your body has to get rid of that has absolutely no benefits so I just am really glad they don't have any artificial colors I'm done with my rant you guys know I hate them so the only mixed aspect I have here is the taste now as soon as I saw this mix and I saw that they were using dynamine and teocrine both of those are some of the most bitter stimulants that I've ever tried. They're so, so, so bitter. Even a little bit of teocrine, sometimes putting in a, in a large drink will ruin the whole drink. It's unbelievable how bad these taste, which is so sad because they're absolutely amazing supplements, but you just almost can't put them in a drink. So as soon as I saw they had dynamine and teocrine, I'm like, this is gonna taste terrible. They messed up by putting both those in there. They should have probably just went with teocrine because teocrine is more effective and the combination of teocrine and dynamine is gonna make it just so bitter. However, the reason I'm putting this in the mix is that the taste actually isn't that bad when you consider how bad teocrine is. Like teocrine, I'd almost rather have some alcohol, you know, some like straight up like 40% vodka or something versus teocrine because it's just, it's so bitter and so bleh, but they actually do a very, very, very good job of blending this well in here. And this also has some rhodiola rosea. I forgot to mention that when I was talking about the ingredients, but rhodiola rosea is also extremely bitter. So they have quite a lot of bitter stuff in here. I'm actually pretty shocked about how good it tastes given the ingredients. If I were to give the taste a rating, I'd probably give it like a 5.5 to a six. But if I'm gonna consider the ingredients that they mixed in here, I'd probably give this almost like a nine out of 10 for taste because I wouldn't even think you could create a supplement with these ingredients because the ingredients were so bitter, you know? And then on top of that, there was multiple flavors and this one was the cheapest. So I'm assuming it's the cheapest because people think it is the worst. I also did get this on Amazon and people said that it had clumping. I had actually no clumping at all. So maybe it was just a bad batch. Again, it is a little challenging, but when you consider those ingredients, it actually is pretty good. So anyways, guys, if I were to get into the cons of the supplements, to be honest, guys, I really don't have too many. I would say the biggest problem for people is getting over that taste, you know, and if you're somebody who doesn't really mind the taste, I actually don't mind the taste. But I would say that's the biggest thing for people. I mean, maybe if you're somebody who wants a lot of caffeine, a really strong, caffeine stimulant this really isn't it like I said it has like only 78 milligrams caffeine but I actually like that and I find that teocrine and dynamine make it feel like it has a little bit more and then another thing is that it uses the cheapest form of b12 or one of the cheapest ones which is like cyanocobalamin and apparently the cyano is supposed to turn into cyanide in your
your body, which apparently is fine on low doses, but cyanide is also a big poison. I've also seen a video online, I didn't do any research, and they were saying that cyanocobalamin is like a sneaky cancer-causing chemical or really bad ingredient you want to avoid. And then another issue that I have was that they use so much of it in here, 20,000. I'm not a chemist and everything, but I have looked up, if you can look up right now, that cyanocobalamin turns into cyanide. So every time I see it, I'm like, okay, if you're gonna use that, use a low dose, you know, but this one has 20,000 in here. Again, I don't want you to be afraid from buying this because this isn't gonna get me to stop using the supplement, but it's something that I didn't really like. And this also has choline bitartrate in here, which is technically one of the cheaper kinds of choline. Technically, I think alpha GPC is supposed to be more effective and more bioavailable, but they use a big dose in here. And I've heard for certain situations, choline bitartrate is actually better. So anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.